The high school winter sports season is beginning to wind down. The individual wrestling, competitive cheer, and boys and girls bowling state finals will be held this weekend. For the fourth straight year, Caledonia senior Brittany Schnick has led the Fighting Scots to a conference championship and now into the bowling state finals. Two things many thought would not be possible just two years ago. Nick first joined a bowling league when she was 12 years old. Now, were you good right away? No. Yet, just a little more than two years later, as a freshman at Caledonia High School, Brittany not only made the varsity team. I did not think that was ever going to happen. But was named the team's anchor. We had a senior girl on the team. She pulled me aside and she goes, Coach, she's our best player. You know, you, you should have her as our anchor. As a sophomore, she led the Scots to the state finals for the first time in school history. It's really helped our team bond. Brittany also finished eighth overall individually in the state in Division One. You could just see that she was a special kid. Everything seemed to be rolling perfectly for Brittany. But just one week later, in March of 2015, in a wood shop class. I was on the jointer. There's these pads that you slide across with the wood. And I was um, going across, and I guess it, the wood got stuck on the... Um, the guard for the saw and my finger slipped and it went like right into the uh, saw. Brittany had severed her ring finger just above the first knuckle and the tip of her middle finger on her left hand her bowling hand. Brittany mom, she calls me and says, Brittany cut her fingers off. Like, what? You know, I mean, I'm in utter shock. The two fingertips a bowler uses to control the roll and the spin of the ball. The first thing that came out of my mouth was like, I'm not going to be able to bowl. Brittany was rushed to the hospital. That was her first words when I walked up into the school. And what? Well, I don't think I'll ever be able to bowl again. She underwent the first of two surgeries a week later. I thought my career was over. But I talked to the doctor and to my coach, and they said I could bowl, so then I was like, okay, I can do this. She had a ball drilled with a special grip. It's called the Sarge Easter, and it's where I put my whole finger, my ring finger, into the ball. And then I, for my middle finger, I just put the grip in it. And Brittany began practicing almost every day. Was this adjusting, or was this like learning all over again? It was definitely like learning to bowl again. The kid who had averaged in the 190s was rolling nearly half that. The first couple times we practiced, I mean, she was throwing a 100 game. But Britt kept practicing and practicing and practicing. She worked her tail off. Brittany not only returned for her junior season, but improved her average by 10 pins to a career high 203. I had my team through the whole thing and my coach came and practiced with me each day, which helped me. And gave me confidence to um, be able to get back into it again. She led Caledonia to another conference title and threw a career-high game of 279. She inspired me as a person because to, to battle back through something like that is pretty awesome. This year as a senior, she's been even better, again averaging 203, leading Caledonia to a fourth straight conference title and into the regional finals this weekend as a legitimate state champion contender. It'd be really cool to get a state title. She was just like, I'm going to get back out there and do what I need to do to get where I was at, and if not better and she did say I'm going to be better and she was. I'm sure you're pretty proud of her, huh? Oh, very proud. Very, very proud. And she should be. Great kid. Britt will also be heading to Midland University in Nebraska on a bowling scholarship this fall. Congratulations, Britt. Well done.